What's up guys? Today we will route the POCO F6 device. This routing method will work on any new phone running Android 13 or above, regardless of the manufacturer. Your bootloader must be unlocked before proceeding. First, you need to find out the version of the ROM installed on your device. On your phone, go to Settings, then tap on About Phone. This is the ROM version of my POCO F6 device. Download POCO F6 ROM from mefirm.net or from another trusted source. Make sure that you are downloading the same version of the ROM that is currently installed on your device. Extract the downloaded ROM file using a file compression tool like WinRAR, 7-Zip, or similar software. Now, enable developer options by tap on the OS version repeatedly, around 7 times, until you get a message saying, you are now a developer. Go back to the main settings menu and scroll down to find additional settings. Tap on developer options. And as you can see, my bootloader is unlocked. Toggle on the switch next to USB debugging. Connect your phone to your computer using a USB cable. Enable file transfer between your phone and your computer. Extract the initboot.img file from the previously downloaded firmware package and transfer it to the storage of your POCO F6 phone. You can route your POCO F6 using either Magisk or Kitsune Magisk, as the process remains identical. However, in this video, I'll demonstrate routing with Kitsune Magisk, formerly known as Magisk Delta. Transfer both the Kitsune Magisk app and the Root Checker app to the internal storage of your phone. I will install the Root Checker app first to show you that my phone isn't rooted yet. As we can see, my POCO F6 isn't rooted yet. To root your POCO F6, you need to install either Magisk or Kitsune Magisk app on your phone. Open the Magisk app and go to Install. Then select the extracted initboot.img file. Tap on Let's Go to patch the file. The file has been patched successfully. The patched file should now be located in the download folder on your phone. Now, you need to transfer the patched file from your phone to your computer. Navigate to the ADB Platform Tools directory. Move the patched file to the ADB directory on your computer. Then rename it to initboot.img. In the address bar of the File Explorer window, type CMD and press Enter. Verify that your device is detected by running ADB Devices command and press Enter. Allow USB debugging connection on your phone if required. Run ADB Reboot Bootloader and press Enter to reboot your device into the bootloader mode. Right-click on the Start button, then click on Device Manager and install Xiaomi drivers if required. Download link in the description box. This should appear as Android Bootloader Interface once the fastboot driver is installed. Please let me know in the comments section if this is your first time rooting an Android device. Your phone should appear as Android Bootloader Interface for it to work with fastboot commands. Verify that your device is detected by running fastboot devices and press Enter. To flash the patched boot image, run fastboot space flash space init underscore boot space init underscore boot dot img and press enter then run fast boot reboot and press enter to restart your phone open the magisk manager app tap on cancel on the pop-up message then go to install this time you need to select direct install and then tap on Let's go. 
Tap on Reboot to restart your device. Tell me in the comments if you had any problems rooting your Poco F6 device and how you fixed them. After rebooting, open the Magisk Manager app. It should show that Magisk has been installed successfully. Run the Root Checker app. It should request super user access. And there you have it guys. The Poco F6 is now rooted successfully. If you liked this video and found it helpful, give it a thumbs up and share this video with your friends by tapping the share button. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for more detailed video tutorials. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below.